Hello, Ray Phoenix here, and this is a tour of my bedroom. As you can see right here, here's my poster for Return of the Jedi. And you can also see here, too, here's my Mubi bank. This is Mubi from the Jay and Silent Bob movies by Kevin Smith. Mubi, you need a bank. You can put a coin in there, but I wouldn't really put money in this thing because of how oddly shaped it is. Here's my Oscar award. I won this Oscar award back in 2015 for an animated story I came up with. Never actually got turned into a movie, and the Academy was kind of sad about that. So they gave me an honorary Oscar for that. Here's this PlayStation lamp I have here. Listen to this. Yeah, it's for cool. It turns on like that. I have this pre-911 New York City lamp, as you can see here. It has the Twin Towers in it, because it's made before 9-11. Here's some other odd stuff. Here's my CD collection. You see, I have a lot of music. CDs in here. I have listened to these quite a bit. Ooh, here's here's my most rarest album, Summer Girl by Smash Mouth, a limited release from 2006. As everyday superhero and a lot of their ever great hits from that time. That's really good. I have this gem right here, this Chaos Emerald from Sonic, I guess you could call it that. Yep, it's a luxury item and I have it sitting in my bedroom right now. Be jealous if you want. <laughs> I have the instructions here for Banjo 2E for the N64. I have some gaming system down there, some Android gaming to out there. I'll get that working for another video. I have the Star Wars Episode 1 collectible box set. We can make a separate video about that. In here I have some more junk, some more garbage crap. Well, not garbage. Oh, this stuff's actually pretty interesting, aren't you? Like, I have this multimedia speaker here. You could plug like a, a SD, micro SD card, a USB stick in there. It has radio in it too. You could play all your favorite songs. My Wacom tablet's in here. Here's something that Arcanine 50 lent to me, a portable hard drive. And I have my, um, see I have my, um, Samsung tablet in there as well. Right here I got a bunch of DVDs. Bunch of, these aren't all DVDs. I have, I have a lot more DVDs. I have hundreds of DVDs and all. These are some of them I have right here. So right here is my big wall of art stuff that I've drawn up. I've drawn over the last year, actually. Stuff I've drawn in Chinamark. I pretty much put most of this stuff on, on DeviantArt, as you can see right here. And over here, this is that mural that I had to make for an art project months ago. You can see I drew a bunch of my characters. There's, there's Admiral Lightning giving a gem to Captain Fusion. See Captain Fusion 2107 in the upper right hand corner. First time I ever drew that version of Captain Fusion. George Ferres in the bottom right hand corner as well. You can see Clyde is showing Keith some invention and, and, and Keith's kind of like, yeah, I don't like this. And yeah, I drew Ark 9 at 50 going for a jog too. There's a, a picture up there of Tammy Newborn using telepath, telekinetic powers to destroy Professor Xavier. And Professor Xavier is still smiling. I already made a video about that. Here's a poster I made for Saki, where he's like Saki vandalized on the side of the thing. Screw Italian chefs. Yeah, it's a reference to his arch rival, Alfredo. Here's some ghosts that I drew. Professor Xavier, Master Yogurt, Noggy Bendoggy. Here's where Saki lives. This is where Saki always stays. You know, Saki is Saki, but don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Yeah, that's right. Saki's playing a really big comeback right now as we speak. So right here I have my clock radio and, and I have a globe of the world. Believe it or not, this globe of the world is actually a lot more accurate than that map I have over there. Mostly because that map doesn't have South Sudan on it, but that globe does. I have some other all collectibles. I got this penguin craft I made all those years back. I have some sculpture I carved out of wood. I have this British penny here. It's an actual British penny from 1895. Wow, I wonder how much that's worth in today's currency. Uh, probably not much. It's Donkey Kong figure. I have this pin right here, this Nintendo NES pin. Got my trusty piggy bank. It's trusty Mondo metal kept in there. Got another box filled with obscure things in here. Ooh, yeah, I have a lot of um, I have a lot of stuff in here. A lot of odd. I have like Lego in there. Man, so much stuff in here. Holy crap. There's so much in here, man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, here's that pen I got from that time I went to the CNE in 2007, where I appeared on TV when I was building that that, that record-breaking Lego tower. Here's a piece. Here's this from 10 years ago when I went to see Cirque du Soleil. They blew that into the audience. I love Cirque du Soleil. It's better than the real circus. Everyone knows that. Cirque du Soleil is the real deal. Ah, this thing isn't going to close. But what do I expect? I kind of messed around in there. Dang it now, forget about that for now. So you have some ever odd collectibles, collectible items here. And in here I have, you can see, I have my Sega, my Sega Dreamcast controller right here. I, have, I keep some odd PS2 games here. A lot of my PS1 games are here. You see I have Tiny Tank, I have a, 
I have Jet Moto 2. I have I have the, the original Spyro, the Dragon. I have Frogger here. I have what, what other odd stuff do I have here? Oh, I have Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, the Hidden Empire. I have the original Ape Escape here. And also over here, as you can see, I have the original Jumping Flash over here, one of my all-time favorites. And I have uh, Philosoma over here, a pretty good shooter for the PS1, which never had any sequels. I have my Wii box here. I have like a, this is a photo album. I have this little cute little plush thing on it. I have my Game Boy Advance. It's hard, I'm sorry it's hard to see in here because it's so dark in here. It's hard to see. I have my Game Boy Advance here. I have a bunch of odd Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games in here. I have some, here's my collection of obscure coins. I have a lot of Polish money in here and a lot of European money in here as well. So I have European money. I have my sidewalk chalk here and... You see up here, I have a lot of board games. So you can see, yeah, I collect a lot of board games, as you could tell. And I have a lot of other crap around here, too. I got this, like, I have this clock. So this is an atomic clock. It doesn't actually do the atomic part. It's just technically not an atomic clock. And, well, and I have some other bunch of collectibles and some other things that were on loan to me and some more DVDs you could probably see down there. But that's pretty much all I need to know about this bedroom place. This is Ray Phoenix signing out.